Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. That is just a cute ending. Hello there, fellow cyberpunks and retro nerds. Tommy the Hammer here, and I am doing an intro for my good friend, the Dreaded Dean's uh, review of Mighty Number no. 9. Now, when we filmed this video, it was at the beginning of the summer, and Mighty Number no. 9 had just been released uh, to specific home consoles and, uh, more importantly, for digital download. So, uh, Dean digitally downloaded it, and uh, we played the game, and uh, he felt that uh, it was getting a little too much guff. So we decided to put together this little video about Mighty Number no. 9, and uh, after we were done filming it, we watched it, and in retrospect, we thought the video was pretty bad. Um, so after a couple of months, I reviewed it again, and uh, upon second or third inspection, I thought the video was actually pretty decent. Dean covers a wide variety of topics involving the video for Mighty Number no. 9. And uh, I asked him today if I could put it online, and much to his chagrin, he uh, gave me the A-OK. -okay. So here it is, without further ado, Dean's solo flight on Mighty Number no. 9. Hello! Tom's video camera, because I don't have viewers yet. I'm the dreaded dr drunken gamer, and uh, yes, I wanted to retort to the mega nerds bashing Mighty Number no. Nine, but I'm not feeling it yet. Super nerds are talking shit about Mighty Number no. Nine. And is it the best game I've ever played? Of course not. I mean, what's the best game ever? Final Fantasy VI, probably. It's beside the point. I'm a Mega Man fan, obviously. Quite apparent. Am I disappointed with the game? I mean, it can be a little more polished. I mean. They, they had a lot to uh, they had a lot to do a lot of ports uh, they had uh, the Vita they had the PS3 they had the 3DS they had the Wii U they had the PS4 Xbox One a lot of ports so a lot of ports they had a lot on their table granted the game was supposed to come out in 2013 well, Kickstarter started in 2013. We expected it 2014, 15, whatever. A lot of setbacks. It's finally out. I pre-ordered it. 19.99. 20 bucks. You know, I, I had no problem paying that amount for nine and ten. Granted, I got both of them for that price. But it's just nice to get more of what you love. It's like. When Kevin Smith makes a movie that isn't Jay and Silent Bob, you're like, well, Jersey Girl is garbage. It, it, it happens. All you super nerds out there are acting like this game is Jersey Girl. It's not Jersey Girl. Jay and Silent Bob are in it. It's not Jersey Girl. So I'm totally fine with this game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, I've beaten some of the bosses. It was a little tough at first. What should we tackle next? <sighs> Alright, so the voice acting. <laughs> uh, well, you know, if you've seen the Mega Man anime, it's pretty fucking cheesy too, right? Like, it doesn't bother me. I mean, it's weird that Peter Griffin is in this game, but... You have all you have all
lot of the complaints were frame rates are bad, there are some, some malfunctions with the frame rate, some people are saying it looks like it should have been on the PS2. Personally, it's just nice to see another Mega Man-ish game come out. Like, I'm happy with it. I have fun with it. I didn't have super high expectations, because I kind of think a lot of new games are crap anyway. And if I can pay $20 for another cool Mega Man title, that's awesome. Personally, as I play it, it reminds me of the PSP games Mega Man Powered Up and the reboot of Mega Man X. Like, if you just blend those two together, it's what you got. Not only does it have the dash, but almost kind of a similar art style. That low poly, but uh, nice 3D look. And kind of like the PSP game Mega Man Powered Up, it's got the cutesy art form going on. So many. We got the cutesy image of Mega Man there from Mega Man Powered Up. And we got that cutesy anime art. And then we got these guys. Gutsman, Iceman, Bomb Man, Fire Man, Flick Man. They're fucking cute, man. So anyway, to put things short, Mighty Number 9 is fun. The Mega Nerds are ripping this shit apart, and, you know, it probably should have been a little more polished for 2016. But, like I said, with how many ports they had to spew out, there was definitely some pressure to not do what was meant for the game. But I'm happy with it. It's 20 bucks. 20 bucks is nothing for how much fun I'm having with this game. So, anyway, I feel like I just needed to make this video while the polls were hot. While all the super nerds were giving it shit. I definitely think that it shouldn't, been, shouldn't have been ported to so many systems. If it would have been a PlayStation exclusive, just Vita, PS3, and PS4, this could have been superb. But unfortunately, this is what we got. But is it unfortunate? I don't think so. I'm having a good time. Should it have been ported to Nintendo? I mean... I don't know. They've been fucking up ever since Nintendo 64. So anyway, I love the game. It's 20 bucks. 20 bucks is nothing for how good this game is. Originally, my only complaint was there weren't trophies. But then later that day, all of a sudden I got a set of trophies. So I really have no real complaints about the game. I have fun with it. I'm a Mega Man fan, and it's Mega Man. It's Mega Man of 2016. It's the best we're going to get. Fuck it. Anyway, look forward to a, a Mighty Number no. 9 speed run. Drunken speed run. Also, look forward to me telling you how Nintendo went wrong ever since Nintendo 64. Uh, 
drunken dreaded gamer. Signing off.